Hi friends, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my plan with me for September 27th through October 3rd. This week we are pretending to go to the fictional town of Mitford, North Carolina. And I just imported artwork from the books into this little homemade sticker kit and made this fat washi that shows some of the town in a map format. So my goal is to create a vibe of my planner being in this fictional town of Mitford. Here is what they call Lord's Chapel in the books, and this is where the main character, Father Timothy Cavanaugh, is an Episcopal priest. So I wanted that to anchor the whole setup. And it's lesson number four for me in piano lessons. So I made a little circle that just says lesson four, and I normally put my lesson number up here. Looks like that'll work. Great, and then I've got a sidebar where my memory verse will go, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go down onto the calendar. So I need to probably do something different down at the bottom of the page. Yeah, that'll be easy enough to cover up with something. And we will have church on Sunday. And this again is just like a background of the map of Mitford. And then I put a semi-transparent white box on top of it so that I can write. I have group lessons with my students this week on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So for that, I'm going to just put washi in the general vicinity of when that will happen and cover each washi strip with a group lesson script. And you know what? I'm going to use the new sticker subscription um, sheets that nobody likes or nobody seems to like, <laughs> but that I like a lot, um, and just write group lessons like this, and that will go over this washi. There we go. Monday is a mom day. And I'm going to try to see her kind of early. Early-ish. I love how that map looks in the background there. This is so cool. And then Wednesday is a mom day. Let's do the same thing. All right, now this was one of my least favorite stickers on this sheet, but I figured out just now that it's exactly three days worth in the hourly planner. I mean, it's almost as exact as, as you can get. And so that looks good. So on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, my husband and I are just going to take a few days off. And we live so close to the Blue Ridge Parkway that one of our favorite things to do is just take little day trips on the Blue Ridge Parkway. So you can, you can get on the parkway at different places and you can go different directions, obviously. And there are so many little towns and fun little stops along the way that this time of year, when the weather is nice, it's especially fun to ride on the parkway. And um, we love, there's a few places we like to go, like we head out to Maybury Mill, we go to the Peaks of Otter, uh, Meadows of Dan, so many fun things. And sometimes we don't really have a destination. We just drive until we feel like coming home. 
and we have fun just sort of exploring and finding fun little places to stop and grab lunch or to maybe um, look over an overlook and take some pictures of the mountains and when the weather's nice and when it's a clear day you get such gorgeous views of the Blue Ridge Mountains on the parkway. And now I'm just adding some orange to the top of the page to tie all of these colors together, hopefully. And this is part of the homemade sticker sheet. And I'm thinking that what I will do with the empty parts of my weekly spread here is just kind of leave things open. Okay, and then I don't have my memory verse yet. So my husband is on the job. It's his job to get all of my October memory verses lined up. They're going to have something to do with compassion that we have for others as well as compassion for ourselves. And that's because if you look at the October tabbed page in your life planner, if you have the mid-century circles one, it says have compassion for yourself the way you have it for others. So I'd like to get my Bible verses tied into that somehow. So let's call Mr. Plan Sarah Plan and see, he's not here. So let's see if he has done his homework. Okay, so he's on the job and our first verse is Romans 12, 15, which is rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. And that one is especially fitting for this week because I have a friend who lost her mother last week. And so I think that's especially helpful, at least for me this week. There we go. Okay, so this little flag was from the sticker subscription. This memory verse is just a homemade header, and then this Bible is a Mama Gloria sticker. And then I'm not going to write in these boxes yet. I will just put whatever adventures we end up having in these boxes. And I think we need some road washi. I will fill in this more like with photographs and pictures as we go and I would like to save room for that I'd like to have pictures from my group lessons maybe to add in here we're gonna do some games and have some fun I still didn't do anything here though did I so let's pop something cool down here okay right here in my color sorting sticker book I've got this fall fun sticker that plan with Ronald made and then I've got a couple of pumpkins. So let's do a little decorating with these down here and white out the calendar first of all. on first and then fall fun nice here you can see up close and you can see the little Mitford map up close and the memory verse and Lord's Chapel and I think that's gonna do it okay so this is short and sweet. I'm going to close with prayer. That's what I do at the end of my weekly slash hourly plan with me. So I invite you to join me for that if you'd like to. All right, so we're back in the binder here. I love being able to take my pages out when I plan. 
even though I don't always do that. Um, but I have gone ahead and typed up a prayer. I took a moment just now to type it up because sometimes I feel like if I'm winging it, I leave out something that I intended to pray for. So um, because I've written it out, I could actually just copy and paste this into the video description if you want to pray this prayer later on. Um, you would be able to do that. Okay, so let's join together and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to join together in prayer after spending some time planning and celebrating the week to come. We praise you for all that is good and worthwhile in our lives. We thank you for showing us the people and activities and projects that bring us the most joy and which point us towards you. Before we begin the next week, we want to close out the last one in a spirit of humility, confession, and gratitude. We are humbled that you, the creator of the universe, think our lives are important and worthy of your attention. We confess our sins and wish that we had done better in some things. And we are grateful that you are faithful and just to forgive our sins because of the blood of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Help us, guide us, and watch over us in this new week. Make us a blessing to others, but most especially to our loved ones. Help us to have holy compassion so that we are moved to rejoice with those who rejoice and to mourn with those who mourn. We ask that you would stop us before we say something we shouldn't, not by force, because you never force us to do what is right but by the persuasion of your indwelling Holy Spirit in our hearts. When we are tempted to speak out of frustration, give us words to speak instead with compassion and encouragement. Help us to accept the trials of life with the grace and confidence of children of the King of Kings. We lift up all in our circle who are struggling with illness, addiction, anxiety, depression, or hopelessness. Show mercy upon these dear ones and help them to turn their eyes upon you and to find help, forgiveness, and above all, unconditional love. We ask these things in the name of your beloved son, Jesus. Amen. So thank you so much for joining me and I want your help. I would like some ideas for little games that I can do, not piano games because I've got that taken care of, but little games that I can do something kind of like baby shower games or uh, wedding shower games that don't have to do with babies, but <laughs> just little games like door prizes that I can do with my groups of piano students this week. I love to throw in some fun and surprising things for them to do. So like it, it could be something like a prize for the person who can remember uh, the first five words that I said at the beginning of this class. But if you know of any fun and catchy little games that are kind of like icebreakers that work well with you know, all age groups, let me know in the comments. I will be so grateful. And um, so this was fun. I will also have a daily plan with me. And I think my daily planner will be extra important to me because um, I'll have like extra pictures and things and memories this week that I would like to just kind of journal about and maybe use my HP Sprocket to post pictures and stuff. Um, in that daily planner. So um, I expect this to fill out. It's a little bit sparse right now, but I expect it to fill out a little bit more as I go through the week. And I hope all of you have a great week and enjoy this first full week of fall. The weather right now here in Southwest Virginia is amazing. In fact, I'm wearing my layers hoodie, my Erin Condren hoodie that I got during the warehouse sale, and it's perfect weather for this right now. Okay, I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.